All right, so what are you up to? Yeah, I'm just... Is Blade Runner 2049 any good? You know what, I haven't seen it. Well, call yourself a bloody movie fan. Oh, shut off, will you? <laughs> Thanks for that, Nathan. Right, good morning. Welcome back to Blue Roy Movies. Today, I'm in confessional. Today, I'm going to share with you 10 films that I haven't watched from the collection and I really should have watched. I've got absolutely no excuses for not watching them. And I've got 10 films, like I say. I've ranked them from the first one. You might be mildly disappointed with me. Shake your head and tut. Going on down to the last one, last one, where you could be throwing virtually rotten fruit at me, sticking me in the YouTube stocks, and abusing me in the comments. But we'll take that risk. You're all nice guys. I'm sure you'll let me off lightly. Here we go then. First up, Akira Kurosawa's Ran. Love Kurosawa. Hidden Fortress, Seven Samurai, Rashomon, Yojimbo, Throne of Blood, love them all. Not seen Ran. And some people say this is his best film and their favourite film and I've got it on 4K, still shrink wrapped. Not got around to watching it. Next, again, back to Asian cinema. Love my Asian cinema. Love my martial arts cinema. And I'm fully aware that this one, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, is heralded as groundbreaking in the genre with its wild work, its fight scene, its story. And also it's in this series, in the gold slip cases, the numbered series, which I have them all up there behind me. And I think I've seen them all, minus that one. What a wally. Next up, Creed 2. I'm a big Rocky fan. And I like the way Creed 1 took the direction of the franchise. And my favourite Rocky is arguably Rocky 4, with Dolph Lundrum as the big Russian guy. Absolutely brilliant. And London's back in this with his son, who's fighting Creed. So why I haven't seen this, just shaking my head. What a wally. And the next one. No Time to Die. Absolutely love my Bond. Through Connery, Lazenby, Moore, Dalton, Brosnan. To Craig, seen every one of them apart from this one. Now, I got given this for Christmas a couple of years ago by my friend, and when I received it, I decided I'm going to have a watch through of all the Bond films and then watch this one. Now, like I said, it was two years ago, and I think I'm up to Skyfall. So, I've got Skyfall, Spectre to go. Then I could watch that two years later. By the time I've got around to watch that, that new fellow probably watched his, made his first Bond film. Shocking stuff. Next up, the series of films that everybody, their mums, their dads, their dogs, the pets, everybody been raving about the last few years. June, like Denny Villeneuve as a director. This hasn't found my way into the player. I understand it's a bit Star Wars-y and like everybody else, loves Star Wars. So why haven't I seen it? I haven't even seen the original Dune from years ago. Not read the book or anything, but I've heard it's absolutely incredible. A treat. 
a cinematic masterpiece and the Dune 2 is supposed to be the same and there's a Dune 3 coming out in a couple of years so again no excuses next up and a director that will be appearing again a bit further on Paul Thomas Anderson and Magnolia and anything I've seen of Paul Thomas Anderson so far I've really enjoyed uh, there will be blood phantom thread and something else I can't think off the top of my head I've absolutely loved and again people say this is his best film people say this is Tom Cruise's best film who I love Tom Cruise especially as he's got older and older he's been getting better and better in my opinion absolutely stellar cast in this I'm sorry next up on any given day Blade Runner is possibly my favourite film certainly in my top three so when I heard they were bringing out a sequel I wasn't too fussed I thought don't ruin the film but then I've heard more and more buzz about how good Blade Runner 2049 is and a homage it plays to the original Blade Runner film and in some way some people prefer Blade Runner 2049 and I still haven't watched it and I know I just know I'm gonna love this film and but I'm weird I kind of like want to savour that first moment of watching this film and so it's uh, just round there for how old is it four or five years probably longer than that yeah next up the dirty dozen love my 70s films war films right up there my favorite genres Love ensemble cast films. This is one supposed to be iconic. Absolutely blinding cast. Look, Lee Marvin, Ernest Borgnine, who I love, Charlie Bronson, John Cassavetes, George Kennedy, love George Kennedy, Robert Ryan, Teddy Tavallis, Robert Webber. This is incredible, isn't it, guys? <laughs> this is a brilliant film, isn't it? Yeah. The penultimate one, one that's heralded as a lot of people's right up their favourite films. Another Paul Thomas Anderson film, Marky Mark's best film, they tell me. Boogie Nights. Never seen it. Now, the only excuse I can sort of minorly hold my hands in as to why I've not watched this, and I don't consider myself a prude, I'm not a prude, but... It's the con it's the subject matter, I think. It's all about the porn industry and I think that's the only thing that's held me back from watching it. Shout at me down below. Now, top of the pile, the creme de, de creme, as Frank and Sinatra would say, a number one top of the heap. These vagabond blues or whatever. The Godfather part two. I've seen the Godfather must be half a dozen times and love The Godfather again right up with my favourite films De Niro uh, not De Niro he's in this one Pacino absolutely master class in it wonderful wonderful film three hours long shoots by and I always say to myself I'm going to watch all three. Every time I watch the first one, I'll say, I'm going to watch three, give them a marathon. And I watch the first one and let it sink in. And number two still hasn't made it to the player. Oh, no. What an absolute fool. So that's it, guys. That's confession time over. Uh, feel free to deride me in the comments. Call me a Wally. Call me whatever you want because I fully deserve it. And you know what? I've been through this, so... I'll lend you an ear and if you've got any confessions to make to me and it will remain between you and I, I won't go to anybody. Let me know down below what you need to get round to, what you haven't watched, which maybe you haven't told anybody else. But you can tell me. It's just between me and you. Well, thanks for that, guys. 
hopefully I've remained with a couple of subscribers. Have a nice day. Like if you've liked this video. Maybe think about subscribing. And wonderful stuff. Goodbye.